How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? Everybody getting a fuzz? What's going on, people? Okay, I just woke up to this. Donald Trump new religious freedoms day is a bizarre attack on the LGBT people. Now, um, this has been reported on January the 17th and basically it was reported as of yesterday. Donald Trump has created religious day, religion freedom day, and it's clear that it's all on LGBT people rights. In the presidential proclaimed issue yesterday, he proclaimed that January the 16th would for now on be known as Religious Freedoms Day, a move that's sure to please the evangelical section of his base. The leader expressed support for the freedom to discriminate in the proclamation. I mean, yeah, proclamation. Now, he did so after breaking the Barack Obama eight years tradition and issuing an annual proclamation recognizing June as LGBT Pride Month. The U.S. is currently embroiled in a battle between so called religious liberty and the LGBT people or centuries whether homophobic Christians should have the ability to discriminate against gay people. In the environment, he wrote, Faith is the bellest in history, spirit, and souls of our nation. Our Religious Freedom Day, we celebrate the many faiths that make up our country. This is the same President Trump who created a ban on Muslims entering the United States, which writes because death sentence for the LGBT people refused unable to leave their countries. Ironically, Trump empathized that his dog whistle of the proclamation was based on the founding father's search of the refuge from the religious persecution in America. Just last month, administrators told the Supreme Court that it would it, it'll be acceptable for business to put up signs denying service to same-sex couple. Trump solicitor general was supporting Jack Phillip on Colorado Masterpiece Cake Shop, who launched a legal challenge in the state anti-discrimination law after refusing to serve gay people. The bakers turned away David Muffin and Charlie after he found out that they were getting a cake to celebrate their wedding. Now, Phyllis, who complained that Jesus Christ would discriminate against gay people and continue to assist his religious requirements, discrimination against gay people. Now, the Trump administration has further endorsed Phillips' views with a proclamation that carries a not so vile threat towards LGBT people. Unfortunately, the president wrote, not all has recognized the importance of religious freedom, whether by threat and tax consequences for particular forms of religious speech or forming or forcing people to comply with laws that follow with their core religion's belief without sufficient justification. He added no American, whether a nurse, I mean a nun, nurse, baker, or business owner, should be forced to choose between the tenets of faith and evidence as far as the law. Note the reference of to baker or business. While the administration continued to defend a homophobic baker, Trump told the people that the religious diversity strengthens our community and promotes tolerance, respect, understanding, and equality. Tolerance and equality is set same sex couples who wants their own right respect. The proclamation sparked anger online with Commenters writing prosecution LGBT individuals under the glance of religious isn't an exercise of faith. It is a pure, unaltered, rated discrimination. 
Another person responding by saying yes and no American should have another person's faith falls upon them. Choosing no faith is also to be protected. LGBT blogger Joe My God made an excellent and funny observation about the announcement. He wrote, Christians, hooray, you have protected. Christians, hooray, you've been protected from business discrimination since the Civil Act and back in 1964. Gay Americans, hey, can we get in on that? Christians, you want special rights. So, that's going out as of now. Um, of the... Unbelievable, this is crazy. January the 17th. And today's the 18th, so I was just saying. And I, I was looking because I was like, let me just make sure this is true. Because, you know, a lot of times when people do stuff and had to glance through to see if, you know, um, the religious act, I knew about it. Um, I've heard about it too many times to a point I'm just over it. It's just a right discriminates against gay people, LGBT people, and I'm sure it goes way beyond just the LGBT people, probably blacks as well, Muslims, and anything else. But um, the religious act is like, you know, basically they could use their religion saying, well, I don't want you in my store. I don't want to make a cake for you. I don't want you here, and you can't do nothing about it. It's their, their, their company, whatever case may be. They don't want you there. They can throw you out. And there it is. You have no rights. Under this religious freedom, they act, uh, it's just an assault on LGBT people. And really, more than just that, but story got in reference to the LGBT people and stuff. And of course, this man <laughs> never ceased to amaze me what he'll do next. It's funny how you try to figure somebody out. You just can't figure it out. I really don't think he wanted to become president. I think he did all the things because he felt as though America wouldn't pick him. And when he found out just how many people who really hate other people, and he won, all for his hate, he was shocked. And people who are very prejudiced, racist, Everything else is showing his head. For the mind told me, they said, well, Raven, I'm glad that this has happened. We get a chance to see who hates who, who hates what. The only problem I had with that statement, a friend of mine said, is everybody's not going to sing Kumbaya. It's all about respect. I may not agree with a lot of things people do, but it's none of my business if it does not affect me. And affecting me means that you're coming into my house, you're you're stopping my money, you're stopping things. But someone that's in love with the same sex is not a big deal to me. Someone in love with the same person is not a big deal to me. What's between somebody's pants is not a big deal to me. But discrimination is very big. A man said he was trying to save another white. Oh, a black man tried to save a couple's his wife. They were a white couple. And he was a black man. He tried to save their life. And a woman was dying. She was turning blue. And a black man ran over and started trying to do CPR. And a white man said, get off of her. Get off of her. Get off of her. You fucking nigger. Get off of her. The black man, just listen to the white man. Call him all kinds of names. As he kept doing CPR on his wife. And saved his wife. Ambulance came with and said, you saved. That man saved your wife. He said, I don't care. This is a fucking nigger. And the black man was hurt. But you know, that's the world we live in. And I hate to say this, and I don't care who don't like it. Black people learn to accommodate the way white discrimination laws has been. And we just have to accommodate it and say marches and stuff like that. But it is what it is. It's not fair, but it is what it is. Black people, they tell you to comply, put your hands up in the air. They tell you to obey the law. So if a cop comes and you're in a car, obey the law. And 
put your hands up, comply. Only to me means put your hands in the air. So this way I get a clean shot on you. So I can kill you. Now this is not, but no means meaning all cops are bad because they are not. I also saw a, man, a white man with a gun shooting at cops. Shooting at cops. And they shooting back. But differently. Not to kill him. And then the cops run. And the white man who had a gun. Still alive. Still alive. With a gun. Shooting back at cops. Black man. No gun. On the ground. Shot dead. But you know. That's the way we live in this stuff. And now. The Religious Freedom Act. Sad part about it, but they might want to talk about it. We're having a racial war, and nobody's really saying much about it. But it's definitely going behind the scenes. So, I wish it wasn't. It's just skin. I wish we saw each other a lot more different. I wish we cared about each other a lot more than hating each other more. I wish that people could just learn somebody different and say, you know what? I'm going to get to learn who you are and respect you as a person. But that's just my dream. And no one cares about what I got to say. We're not saying no, but those who will try to do right many times will fail. Those who do wrong will advance. That's the world we live in. So I just wanted to share this with you on this Religious Freedom Act, January 18, 2018. So you could be discriminated against. Funny thing about that is black people have been discriminated against. It ain't even about the Religious Act. But now they got it in law that you could do it now. They already stopped the farming action. You really have to hire a black person on handicap. So, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. So, stay strong. This world got a plan, but God got a bigger plan. And I'm going to tell you there is a man that sits high and looks low. And he's going to clean all this stuff out. What should I tell you? When God comes down and shit everything down. And all this evil in this world is cleaned up. And I'm not talking about LGBT people. Especially for the ones who try to flip it to say well, what's cause of y'all. No ain't cause of us. God said love thy neighbor as thy love thyself. Y'all don't do that. You show heat, but you want to go to heaven. Anyway, the band said, like I said before, I wanted to give you this information. Subscribe to my channel. Also, you can follow me on Instagram. It's very underscore over. Love you.